No one wants to wake up in the morning to be tightly embraced by a disaster. But that was what happened at Isaliodo, an area undergoing developmental metamorphosis, as evidenced by the population and the large expanse of land here. But pipeline explosions are hampering the safety of the area, leading to this ugly incident. When TVC visited the area, we walked through a path to get to the scene of the fire. As we got closer, we could feel the magnitude of the inferno from quite a distance. We were told that about 10 vehicles were adversely affected by the power lines which fell on them. Residents in the area are unhappy with the development, especially as the pipeline corridor has been known to experience oil spill, often due to activities of vandals. We are asleep, we don't enter the room and sleep. We don't hear BOOM! like a bomb and everybody come out. On their visits to the area, the Transmission Company of Nigeria as well as the Nigeria National Petroleum Corporation NNPC allied fares of residents, assuring them that the raging inferno will be put off totally. When these incidents happen, we don't want to leave Lagos in darkness. So, Akamba Station, which is fed by this line, it has also another source where we can feed it, which is through Ijora. So, from that time, we have been supplying uh, the substation through Ijora. And now our engineers were able to restore the second line that trip. It is also important for Nigerians to know that we are working seriously. Just as you said, the GMD has been coming to see this kind of incident because of the potential losses for our national asset and product as well as human life. So a lot of agencies, community people are involved to ensure that uh, this kind of activities before now is minimized or stopped. The NNPC says the incident will not affect the supply of fuel to Lagos as it has prepared adequately for the holiday season. It's Christmas season and Tai Ayo Padukun is holding a carol service in his upper hometown, Kwara State. And this, uh, this time of the year, Christ is being celebrated as having come to light up the world. That's the reason why we... Uh, celebrating Christmas carol every year and we thank God that we are celebrating the 18th edition. As a public affairs analyst, the event provides an opportunity for him to react to some national issues. It's unperturbed by the withdrawal of the presidential assent on the Electoral Act amendment but rather wants Nigerians to focus on the need to have a system that works for all. On his part, the chairman, Senate Committee on Rules and Business, Senator Sadiq Umar, says the Senate has not dropped plans to override President Muhammadu Buhari over the 2021 Electoral Act Amendment. He assures that the National Assembly will do the needful after it resumes from the New Year break. And so, in the wisdom of the Senators, we say, okay, since the issue is not going to be addressed in the House of Representatives now, we do, let's step it down and go and do the consultation and allow our constituents, our stakeholders, all parties, we all agree. When we resume, we will do what the people want us to do or what we have seen is the best thing in the interest of Nigeria. Security has been a major challenge in Nigeria. Pao Padukun is suggesting a community-based solution to the problem. Security is local. Security is local. Until we go back to what we had in the First Republic, under a federal system of government, eh, we are most unlikely to get out of the world. Ibrahim Alige, TVC News, Guara State. This is the first media briefing by the new Commission of Police on the State Command, Oye Diro Oye Yemi. He briefed newsmen about the night suspected criminals arrested at different locations for offences ranging from murder to kidnapping. This self-acclaimed cleric is one of them. He was found in possession of a fresh woman head at a Jagbale area of Oka, Undo town. The suspect confessed that he bought the head at the cost of 60,000 naira. We received information that a ritualist was about to receive the consignment. Our operative went after him 
and eventually was arrested with a fresh human head. He has confessed that the head found in his possession was to be used to enhance his better life. Policemen for the command also arrested a 26-year-old man over alleged murder of a lady in a hotel in Okaro area of Akure. After killing the ladies, the suspect tried to escape before he was arrested by the hotel staff. Also paraded were three suspected cultists, a man who allegedly kidnapped a deeper life church pastor and a 70-year-old man who killed his neighbor while defecating in the bush. One kidnapper, Kotamayo Mi Ugedengbe, was arrested in Ekiti on the 9th of November. The information given led to the arrest of Dio Titus, aka Dio Igwe, as the mastermind of the kidnap of the Deeper Pastor. The police commissioner also warned criminals to steer clear of the state, stressing that his men are fully on ground to provide adequate security for the people before, during and after the Utah.